talk a little bit about degrees of freedom uh, within assemblies. And so when we're assembling parts together and those parts are interacting together, we want to um, create an environment where the parts in our model um, act as they would um, in real life. And so we do that by eliminating degrees of freedom on parts. And so uh, I wanted to explain exactly what those degrees of freedoms are. And so I have a standard kind of block part um, in my assembly. And I'm going to go ahead and click on a point. And I can see that I have um, some arrows pop up and some circles pop up. And so if I click this arrow and pull it this way, I can move my part in the Y axis. I can translate it. So that's called a translation. I'm translating a part on the Y axis. And so that is one degree of freedom. I can also do that in the x-axis. And so again, I can move my part on that plane in the x-axis. So there's another degree of freedom. Um, I can do the same translation in the z-axis. So again, I can move my part up and down in the z-axis, and I have another degree of freedom, all right? So those are the translation degrees of freedom. So there's three of them. I can also rotate my part about the axis. And so if I look here, um, I can select this uh, point, and I can rotate my part around the x-axis. I can rotate my part around the z-axis. And I can rotate my part around the y-axis. And so what we're going to be doing with assemblies is eliminating those degrees of freedom that exist in our parts so that the parts can interact with each other um, how they are designed to. In our engineering notebook now, um, we are going to go ahead and uh, create um, these degrees of freedom or document them um, in our notebook. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw a line here. And this is our x axis, so I'm going to label that x. And I'm going to put two, an arrow on each side. And then, then I'm going to label that as translate. So we can translate along the x-axis. I'm going to draw another arrow here, or a line, excuse me. Put some arrows on the end of this. We're going to label this as the y-axis and we can translate along the y-axis. Lastly, I'll draw a line straight up. I'll label this as the z-axis. And I'll label that we can translate along the z-axis. We can also rotate, I'm going to draw a circular here, and I'll draw some arrows on that. 
we can rotate around the x-axis. We can rotate around the y-axis. And we can rotate around the z-axis. And so we want to remember that every object has six degrees of freedom.